Hello, everybody. Thank you so very much for joining us. It is outstanding to have you. My name is Chris, otherwise known as Wolfie, and we are live once again with Massively Overpowered ZOP TV. And it is time for ARZ Sunday once again, which means I am joined by my magnificent family, as always, to my character's left, or yes, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I starboard larboard myself. Uh, <laughs> I have my magnificent husband, Welsh Fox. Hello, everyone. Uh, to the other side, <laughs> God, my very Still good. <laughs> I have my very best friend, Britannia, the matriarch herself. <laughs> Hello, everyone. And floating, uh, floating there. Menacingly behind me is our very good friend Ollie. Hello, Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you weren't aware, that's that's uh, Ollie's literal personal temperature right now. That the, the poor thing is in like over yeah. 100 degree heat right now. But, uh... I am on air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is time for some more Final Fantasy 14. It is a Orzia Sunday, and we are going back to the Boja Southern Front. Simply because, you know, it was a good, it was actually a really good time the last time we did it when I was with my family. So, seems as good a time as any to just sort of revisit and have a little quick run around for the heck of it. Uh, seems like, I mean, they, these three wouldn't be here unless they weren't down for the idea, presumably. Mm. Boja is unfortunately my Final Fantasy XIV white whale, as I'm still have a bunch of relic weapons I want to get from Shadowbringers and I just I don't like the idea of going in by myself so I'm glad to take any opportunity to hop in with other people duly noted that's uh we'll have to uh we'll have to try to make that a semi-regular thing somehow if we can for sure because you know I can't really want I don't really want to play this content by myself either but not for the same reason I just don't like doing fates by myself <laughs> that's fair yeah and of course, I have to say hello to the folks in the chat. We are once more joined by the awesome Toaster Master, the inimitable Matt Man, and the wonderful Average Teacup. Hello, you three. Thank you so much for joining oh, us. wonderfully Average hello, Lord Teacup. <laughs> you hold the perfect amount of tea. An exact average. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, so I think we're done with all of the preamble. We should probably just get right into it, shall we? Indeed. Yes. All right, let's make our way to Gargle or Gargos, Gar Grognard. Gangos. Definitely don't call it Gargle. <laughs> Everyone's just running to get their questies. Questies for the besties. I don't think I have any questies to get here myself. Oh, this is just a repeatable. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Great. Uh, the, I'll keep that with me just in case, because I kind of want goalies. And that is for the That's relic weapons. for the weapon. relic weapons, yep. Yep. And walk a relic weapon. Na, 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 na. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if we're all ready, we got all the uh, goodies, classes, whatever, what have you, you want to, uh, you want to do this with? I yes. believe so. Uh, let me go to Red Mage. Get it to at least level eighty. Okay. Okay. What a fancy lad! My goodness, I do love the way they mm -hmm. they look. Yeah. All right, let's get it. Get this started. So, I mean, since what all we got off. So, say what? Oh, uh, well, we just opened up the uh, that extra location, I think. And straight away, I don't know if that. Oh, that's for later on the Castrum Lactus Litori Gori Toy Story Two to <laughs> Infinity and Beyond. Oh my god! <laughs> the Toy Story Two. <laughs> go go go! Go go go! Uh, there is a time to focus quest here. 
I don't know if I need to pick that up or not. Uh, possibly if it's part of the um the story for Baja, then presumably yes. it is. So okay, I guess I'll go pick that up and through this little cutscene here. Apologies for the delay, but as you can see, the ether monitoring devices have finally arrived. They look like incredibly huge jugs of Mountain Dew. <laughs> and that lady's glasses are incredible. Oh, yeah, damn. <laughs> oh, my, dancing. Suddenly, I'm glad the chief insisted I make the delivery. I believe you and Miss Makoto order these. The spectrometer needs a touch more fine-tuning, but it should be ready in no time at all. The sensors ought to be placed at key locations close to the largest aether currents in the region. Once Lija has finished making the final adjustments to the spectrometer, we can activate them remotely and isolate the ethereal signature we are looking for. It may seem somewhat far-fetched, but the theory is sound. Think of the ether currents as streams flowing underground, which, at certain locations, converge into larger rivers. The streams can prove quite difficult to trace. The river is less so. As you might imagine, because these rivers are a confluence of myriad streams, it is no simple task to filter out and extract ether of a specific frequency. Which is why, before anything can be done, we first need a thorough analysis of the ether flowing through these larger currents. Once the signature we're after has been isolated, we can then trace it back to its source. One current flows here under this very camp. After setting sensors at two additional sites, we should be able to gather enough data to isolate the desired signature. Once traced back to its source, we should find something of a reservoir, hopefully with suitable stores of ether to charge the crystal focus. Unfortunately, the two remaining sites where we intend to place sensors are presently points of conflict with the Empire. Why don't we ask that you go then and intercept them? I mean, how could I resist the, such a pouty little face? Like this. No. <laughs> like leaning real close to her patty face. No. <laughs> no. No, I don't think I will. Mark the locations on your map. Once the sensors are in place, use this link for all the contacts. Ah, right. I know this all sounds rather hazardous, but if anyone can make a success of this plan, it's you. Hey, hazardous is what I do best, lady. All right. Okay, so I guess that's really all I needed to te technically needed to do. Any event, let's go. So we should probably. Uh, there's an instance just ahead. Yeah, I was Is it an instance or a skirmish? The skirmish literally in front of us here. Nineteen minutes left. Don't get too far ahead. I will run with puppy. Bank online. Bank online. <laughs> 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 Jamie needs to break out the regalia. You know what? I think you might be right, Toaster. Which regalia? The, the, the car. car. Oh. Yeah, that's true. That's not a terrible idea. Oops, I moved. Take that, you creepy little hand. Arr. Car. Car. <laughs> Car. Car. All right, it looks like we're pretty much otherwise clear as far as skirmishes are concerned. Yeah. 
Nope. Well, one just nope. popped up. Oh, look at there. Yep. Love nice. That. Love that for us. So, since we're only really just running around doing fates at this point, uh, gotta gonna have to talk about Dawn Trail, aren't we? <laughs> we are. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's two weeks. Just a little over two weeks now. The that uh the trailer, like the launch trailer. Yes. Uh, I have some feelings about that one, dude. Like, elaborate on your feelings. Well, like the 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 story beats are just. Oh, there we go. Toast to saying twelve days to be precise. Indeed. The, the 12 days for the early for their early purchasers or slash early access slash oh, soft yeah. launch whatever you want to call it but 16 days I think it is for the official launch uh, but the point being is like um, the, that, that launch trailer really did illustrate the fact that like this is this expansion is like a tale of two halves like first half is about the... I mean, it's all tied to that whole right of succession. But, like, then it gets very high-tech very quickly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Absolutely. Give me that high-tech. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I still kind of have it lingering in the back of my brain of my own three towards that, but it's still early days, and I'm like, uh... What theory do you I mean, don't... then? I'm curious. Uh... Well, it's one we talked about the other day being that... Oop, there we are. Here's the left view. Um, that I think, personally, the people in the techno gear is a lost platoon of Galleon soldiers who apparently came across this so-called city of gold that has technology and they use that to give them an advanced technology to try and take back... A little bit of something for the Galleon Empire in their own way, so they're kind of divided know. from the Emperor. I I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's all weird. <laughs> it's it's honestly like so completely out of left field and far fetched that I genuinely am just not gonna guess. <laughs> honestly, yeah. because it's one, I'm probably it. gonna be wrong. Two, yes, I agree. It's it's kind of not worth it. And three, yeah. like you know, I. I'm not the sort who needs to like be clairvoyant or guess as closely as possible and feel some sort of validation. I'm totally fine with just hopping on the ride, dude. Exactly. Plus, your name is Dancing Moo, not Claire. Eh? <laughs> uh. What? Because uh. you said, "Oh, I'm clairvoyant." No, you're not. You're Dancing Moo. So said, "I'm not clairvoyant." Of course, you're because you're Dancing Moon. Why would you say your name is Claire? Why would you yeah. think that your name was Cloud to begin with? He's really trying to make this uh, land. Uh, yeah, he's trying <laughs> so hard. He's trying so very hard. <laughs> it's been a, it's been a weird week for me. <laughs> That's fair. But yeah, I'm just really. Okay. Ins I'm sorry. What were you gonna say there, Ali? Apology. I was gonna say was that. Huh? Yeah, it's just anyway. so completely off, just wild. Like I'm, I'm super, super curious. And I also like was kind of amused by uh, Yoshida's own uh, saying himself during the uh, last live letter. Is like it doesn't seem like these three pieces fit. <laughs> like when he's talking about some of the locations that are in the expansion, and then moving into Solution Nine. And some of the uh, more interesting locations, or more high-tech ones, I should say. It's Zenos. He's back. He's found his way back. He's just like Nui. Somehow, I, I, I'm pretty confident that the the writers of Creative Studio Three wouldn't go. Uh, somehow, Palpatine is back. Honestly, not with that attitude. Come on. I'm reasonably yeah, sure they wouldn't pull that, but... Never know. We never know. It's 12 days, 
early access comes out, we may see some surprises. We'll see some twists somewhere. Yeah, well, like I said before, the, the thing I'm going to focus on very first days is getting a Viper from 80 to 90. Mm -hmm. That's objective number one for me personally. I'll just be happy to run along and see my white mage, you know, heal you, raise you and all that. And oh, most yeah, probably see have... myself... Oh, that one opened up. Uh, see myself go from 90 to 100 <laughs> before even touching the content. I somehow doubt that's going to happen, but I'd be very impressed if that was actually the case. That'd be very, very interesting. Alright, this looks like a boss pick. Well, maybe not. <laughs> oh, you made me move, you jerk. If they bring Xenos back, I'll be slightly upset. This dude again? <laughs> yeah, I will be 100% upset. Not slightly. I'll be very, very disappointed. I mean, they brought back... Uh, Emmett. Yes, for one expansion. This guy has been here for three. <laughs> exactly. They know when, when enough is enough, frankly. Hopefully he's gone for good. They brought him back from the dead like three times already. Exactly. Like I just said. Yeah, we don't, we don't need it. We don't need it. He just comes back and it's like, I'm told if I am brought back a fifth time, I would get ice cream. <laughs> I, I have a punch Rocky card for Road. a sandwich. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Jersey Where Mike. Where are we going, Jane? Uh, well, there was one that opened up on the south, but then one just immediately popped up just as yeah. we're going up. I'm stuck. That's okay. You're fine. That one to the south is, is probably going to be about halfway down by the time we get there, so... Jersey Mike's. <laughs> and it was. Don't judge me for it being my first time. <laughs> <laughs> One day I need to give Bocha another shot. I mean, personally speaking, I think it's just more fun with friends. The the mechanics of the, the, the zone are still the same as any other giant fate grind area. Yeah. So, the only reason I'm doing this is because I have my friends and family with me. I, I am not a fan of doing this with them <laughs> at all. That's true. I mean, the only person I know that has basically gone back crap crazy doing this just mainly to get all of the relic weapons for each class was our friend and he is a madman he's an absolute madman when it comes to is 100 percent a mad lad yeah. without question he's a completionist yeah If you go so try to find a train of players, join them. Yeah. 100% agree. Good friend. When I do it by myself, I, I get bored after a while. Like, there's only so much I can do by myself. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the problem I have too, is I get bored, for sure. So like, if I have to do it by myself, even joining a train, I don't know that that would necessarily be like the best way to go about it. But you know, it's not terrible advice. Right. Uh, the only thing I don't like when it comes to trains <laughs> like that is you could join a train for one second and once the skirmish or the big raid is done, then it's basically disband. It and dissolves. that's it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that really sucks. Unless it's, a ch unless it's a train that keeps moving. Mm -hmm. Hmm. And that's also oh, possible, no. too. Oh, that was a sick little 360 there. Dang. All right. Mm. No. I feel like when you have some Tony Hawk's Pro Skater music playing, except that would get copyrighted. <laughs> <struck>. <laughs> 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 Here I am. 
Doing everything I can. Click, click. Yeah, all those. Yeah. It's... Holding on to what I am. Thinking I'm it's Superman. I'm Superman. <laughs> Dear Yoshi P, please, oh, please make it possible to have a skateboard. I'm just returning so I can leave. No, you don't. Oh. She has to go to work. Uh, I'll tell work, you know, tell work go to on. bugger off. Go on. <laughs> tell work to bugger off. Yo, wish I friends. could, Jamie. I know. I really wish I could. Unfortunately, computer parts are not cheap. True. He does Can have I... a point. Well, thank you very much for joining us, best friend. We'll see you soon. Yeah, yeah always love, love to have you here. Yay. 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 I hope, wish you all good luck with your skirmishes. Thank you, Yay. best friend. Love, love. Love. Love, love. I know. Mm. Oh. What? I got choking on you here. Say what? <laughs> Did you hear they got choco nuggies here? Choco nuggies? Ooh. Excuse me? Excuse? I tried to go back at the end of Shadowbringer, but couldn't wrap my head around what was going on and what was happening most of the time. Try going back to the end of Shadowbringer or try going back to Bojad in the Shadowbringer? I'm curious. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, I've, I really can't do this by myself. No. Oh, yeah, the it's end of Shadowbringer. Ah, gotcha, yeah. Oh, yeah. Junbu the Blessed. What an interesting name. Okay. Now he's dead. Oh, no, they got a the giant kitty. Got a little thrown off because somebody else whipped out the car and I was like, why no working? Oh, because that's not the car of my that's not my husband's car. <laughs> the only time the only time the words his husband and car work well together. Hmm. Yeah. The joke is, friends, that my husband doesn't drive. Yet. yet. I don't drive yet. I may do. But most probably, I would like to have it on my license to say threat to society behind the wheel of a car. That's me. Because I'll drive on the other end of the road. No, please don't. I mean, I'll try not to, but... <laughs> it's been nine years... Actually, no. 2018 is when I last drove. It's been a and while. And that was just past... It's been yeah, a while. It's been a, it's been a while. It's been, been a while. long while. All right. That's 38. I think we can get there in time. We're going to we get some people. credit. We're not going to get a lot of it, but we'll get there. How far are you both on your next rank on your metals? Oh, I apparently am, like, ready to rank up, but, you know, I'm not really oh. paying attention to that, if I'm very honest. Uh, I'm about 10 away. 10 metal or just 10 million? <laughs> metal. Oh, just 10? Wow. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Indeed. Now I'm eight. Whoop. Whoa. Explodies. Stop exploding. How dare. All right, we can use the return to head back to base and get you an extra rank up. All right. Oh, that's... I will do a poofy then. Yeah, just uh, hit on return, Ollie.
Gotta hold this. Oh, yeah, so I have to speak to this person in order to do the rank up nonsense. There we go. Mm hmm. Offer proof of your medal. Yay. I am 798,000 away to get a 22. Wow. That's a long wait. I okay. need goodness. I got this. Right, so, rank 8 now. Nice. And about uh, 15,000 metal away from rank after that, so I think I'll be okay for a little while longer here. Oh, 10. You're right, it is. was. My bad. How much do you need? 10,000. Ah, oh, fair enough. Not a big deal whatsoever. Oh, actually, we can take. How quickly is that going now? 25%. Uh, take the Aetherite Crystal to Olana's stand. Phew. That... Ah, I had to do the Naruto run. Gotta go fast. <laughs> neener, neener. Oh, it's gonna get finished before we get there. Car or otherwise. Uh, yep, another one's opened up just to the west. Okay. Here I come. Walking down the street. I wish there was a hot I wish there was a hotkey where I could just go to ride pillion without having to do the right click menu nonsense. I it that'd be nice. That's not. That's okay. Uh do you guys have any expectation of hope for the new field operations in Dawn Trail? Yeah, exactly, right. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you say, Jamie? Uh in the chat, do you guys have any expectations or hopes for the new field operations for Dawn Trail? Honestly, um I'm kind of pretty open to mostly whatever. I I doing Balja with with my friends and family has effectively taught me to not try to bum rush this sort of thing by myself. Like, if I have to sit and wait for organizing stuff to do with those I care about, then that's what I'll do. It'll be much better that way. Will it be fast? No. But I don't care about fast. I care about enjoying time with my family and friends. That is fast. Mm -hmm. That's fast. So, whatever it is that they may throw at us, whether it is another Eureka style grind, whether it's another Boja style location. I'm... Final Fantasy XI. Oh, I'm doing the Final Fantasy XI raids one way or the other, without question. The, uh, oh, yeah. That Final Fantasy XI was my first quote unquote real MMORPG. You're dang right, I'm doing Final Fantasy those raids. Understandable. I will probably make weird noises when I do them, and you guys might be a little confused as to why I'm getting excited, but, you know. May I have to get Final Fantasy XI for myself, is what it's called. Hmm. I keep forgetting that none of these enemies have positionals, and I'm still trying to, like, get behind them. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, it's, but uh, what I would like to see, I'd like to see it try to strike a balance between a Boja fate grind kind of a thing and. Ooh. Oh boy. All right, well, well. here we go. <laughs> but yeah, I'd like to see it strike a balance between, uh, whoa. Between Boja and uh, and uh, Eureka, you know what I mean? Hi. Thank you. Oh my This dude has a lot of explosive mechanics. This, this is mini Ifrit. <laughs> hmm. I was not expecting miniature Ifrit, but here we are. 
See, this is the stuff that, that actually is very engaging to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like... Wow! Oh, I still got caught in that, darn. Did not, uh... Did not do the smoke bomb jump fast enough. Ow. I got <laughs> Thank you. Also, whatever it is that they do, I really hope that they fix the server tick, but that's never happening, so... I... That will never happen. Better to do unnecessary positionals than unlearn the habits I store, sir. Oh, 100%, yes. I will always... Uh oh This sounds like a enrage. No, maybe not. Oh, there's a stack. Oops, I bunnied. Is that it? Oh, is that it? Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, Interesting. Oh, oh I've never actually seen a fate where us losing is the success. That was interesting. Huh. I don't think he was losing, just more of like he was there to be like, I'm going to test your mind and then I'm going to go away because you're too strong to kill me. Ah, well. Bye. And that's it. <laughs> Bye. Yes, the uh, Saturday morning cartoon villain escape. We'll meet next time. Cape twirl. All right, a picky up mission. Magic tech parts and killing enemies and handing it to the guy with the bag on his head. I mean, As one icon. does. Yeah, the bag icon, not the actual bag the over actual his head. actual bag on his head. I did immediately think oh. that this person had a bag over their head. And I saw a duffel bag and everything like... Oh. Uh, what did you say? Hey, I got a Bojan cluster. Yay. Nice. I've forgotten what they do. Oh, and that was it. Well, all right. Cool. And I just up. turned. I just opened my trick attack window for literally no reason. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it here. <laughs> and I also got a cluster. Yay. Nice. I'm not in combat. Shut up. There we go. No, it was telling me I couldn't enter the car because I was in combat. It was telling me the same. Yeah, no, it's just being, being a doof. It's being yep. a... What a goof! <laughs> what is with you, man? Come on! Uh, but yeah, speaking of positionals, and speaking of Don Trail, the, the Viper apparently has positionals. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. It does have positionals. A couple of them. Not nearly as many as, like, some other classes, but positionals have been confirmed. But also, like, whether it's positional or not is in the skill's name. Like, one of them is called, like, or a couple of skills are literally called flanking something or other. So like, sorry. So, even though I'm not going to be playing ninja at Dawn Trail launch, I'm getting this positional stuff as right as I can, or at least getting into the habit of it. This just seems like the right way to go. I. Nice. Another one down. 5,000 there. Nice. And I got 10,000 to my next rank up. Not bad at all. But uh, did either of you see anything in the live letter, the latest live letter or in the 
trailer or anything else that has you most interested or intrigued or curious? Graha. <laughs> yes, Graha. <laughs> but uh, honestly, I don't know. It's really hard to say because this is some, this is definitely a new adventure because we've been following a story since a realm reborn for 10 years now 10 years yeah I, 10 years 10 year I, long epic you two have <laughs> oh yeah i forgot oh yeah you two have yeah you just four months <laughs> but at the same time you still experienced all of that work at you know culminated even if it was over mm. the course of months as opposed to years, like it's still that doesn't lessen its impact in my opinion. And this is oh, going yeah, to be finished well before we get close to it. Uh, there was a cute cottage house exterior they showed off at the live letter. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, so the uh, the cottage exterior stuff does look really, really lovely. Like, mm -hmm. um, which uh, if I do pick up, it's going on to our FC house. If anyone else in the FC has any objections to that, there is my uh, suggestion box right here. Put your complaints in there. It comes out confetti. <laughs> and it does what goes yippee when it does. Pretty good. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I don't know those that anybody would designs about that. Look, No. Those designs are very quaint. I like them. And Well, actually, that's the thing. Because they kind of do this with each expansion would the fc house be put up for sale if and that one's done too darn oh oh bloody hell <laughs> all right i'll take us back to base and uh let's see oh, if fine. everyone's got the rankies but yeah that's I my curiosity now is like i think ollie does you said you had ten thousand left Oh, right. Did you... Are you ready to rank up then? Yes. Okay, sweet. Then off we go. But anyway, as you were saying, sorry about that, Jane. Uh, but yeah, that was my concern because, like, in Shadowbringer, I think it's before we had the FC and stuff, like, everyone's housing lots were taken down and put up for sale again. I don't know. That's... Is that oh. going to be a thing for Dawn Trail? No, no, what it's not. What was the that? No, that's I definitely not going to be a thing. That's uh, good. You m might be confusing that with them turning off the demolition timer because of server issues, possibly. Possibly. Uh, but in any event, no, they will not demolish everybody's FC house when the expansion launches. That is not going to be a thing. I don't know where you got that <laughs> idea from. That's really weird. I don't know. I <laughs> Uh, personally speaking. Unless there was something else, Toaster, you know more about it than me. You can elaborate if you could. Excuse me. Did you rank up? Yeah. Yay. Ranked up little Alafel. Okay, fair enough. Question marks. Yeah, Toaster Mark. Toaster Mark. Toaster Mark? Toaster Master is just as confuzzled as I am. <laughs> okay, toaster fair mark. enough. Yeah. It's then fine. Consider that null and void. <laughs> Chris, we're going to make that a new... Toaster, toaster mark. mark. <laughs> we're going to have a toaster mark. We have to create a that's new... A, that's a new thing. We have to new... Yeah, we'll have to create a new uh, English or, or a quotation or symbol or something like that. The toaster mark. Oh, it's going to stick. It's gonna stick. <laughs> <laughs> Throughout the age of time in Eorzea, there was one known as Toaster Master. But some in his native language call him... Mark. <laughs> Casimir will never own a house, just like me in real life. Oh, buddy. Uh, I hope you. I hope that changes for you soon. Genuinely, that. Yeah. Sense. Nice little house. Pop your feet up. Playing fourteen as the kitty man you are. We Hello. love you, buddy. Love, love. Uh, but as far as myself personally speaking, like just some of the little things that they have confirmed that they'll be bringing on, um, I actually am curious 
what the for once I'm actually curious about what the Disciple to the Land and Disciple to the Hand quests are going to be because they mm -hmm. seem to be like little stories that sort of provide a little more context about the world of Toral and Tuliolal in specific. That seems to be like yeah. the suggestion that uh, that uh, Yoshida was making. So that definitely has my intrigue. Oh mm. goodness. Hang on. There we go. But uh, as far as what else was kind of shown off, there's just a bunch of little nice things that were, oh boy, I'm getting hit by this. It's fine. Uh, but there was just, you know, the die channels in action. That was nice. Um, the fight against Basharma Gandra, a.k.a. Tritok. Tri I'm, I'm always going to know that, know that monster is Tritok. Uh, that's just my Final Fantasy VI playing self. Final Fantasy III playing self, technically speaking. Um, it actually brings up something that I remembered I wanted to talk about with YouTube, especially. So... They didn't show off a lot of the var, var, Tritok. I'm going to mess up that original name. Um, but they showed a very, very brief moment of that fight, which had like an indicator that everybody had to get into the center of the fight, jump up in the middle of the screen, or in the center of the arena, pop up in the middle of the screen. Huh. But normally, you know, you'd have to like read the boss's movements and guess at what's happening, get slapped when you're wrong, but learn as you go. During that fight, at least during that one specific mechanic, there was actually a pop-up in the middle of the screen that read, you know, get in the center, which, that is interesting. I'm, I'm curious what you two think about that. That will definitely make telling each move a lot easier for me because there are some times like for boss fights and trials I will totally forget the mechanics and to have that small little notification well it's not even small it was big it was pretty sizable it was definitely not small yeah that nice little notice to come in to be like hey get in the middle that definitely will help out for me in the long run because I can't remember all the fights I mean it would definitely be helpful I'll definitely be sure no one to go that way I don't fall through it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Bring back that little core. <laughs> oh god, that, that actually did kick in my memory. It was like, oh god, I forgot you did that. Oh god. Yeah, they did. <laughs> Classic. That was. Oh my goodness. That was that. one of the one of the first times that we clicked them. Like, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And then to put that with the slow mo Ave Maria. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was great. I I am oh, actually of two minds. Where do we go? That's okay. I, well, as I was gonna say, is I'm kind of of two minds. Like on the one hand, like. I sort of appreciate learning this stuff myself as opposed to having the UI tell me how a mechanic works. Yeah. But on the other hand, like, I don't, I'm not like such a jerkwad that I would say it should never be in the game. Especially if it's no. like an option that can be disengaged. If it's something that I can elect to turn on and off, then I'll be a happy bunny. I but think the only it, thing in. Oh, I was just gonna say, if it if it can't be turned off, then well, I'll just have to live with it and and not whine about it and hope it helps other people. Right. I think that's the only concern I'm gonna have. Well, it's been like this since the dawn of time with online games and such, and especially for new expansions. Is that we'll get to a certain point where we're doing a trial and such, and you know there's going to be that one particular player that randomly joins a group that's like, oh yeah, you got to do all of this. If it's your first time here, you should know your mechanics, that sort of thing. And I had that when I was in Twin Tanya and a few other ones. Even when I said, oh, I'm new to this dungeon or raid, 
and still it's like they want to speed run and get it done as quickly as possible because they've done it so many times and it's like I, hmm, well, yeah, to that point then the joy. to that point then yeah. um, alerts like that one that was showed during that fight are probably going to help out not only just for the sake of like having people establish some level of comfort but also to like aid those who just want to get this the trials done especially if it's something that they done dozens of times earlier yeah now, now that that mechanic it did get pointed out that it's not being added to the old stuff quite yet or, or not at launch anyway um that's probably gonna take some time for them to do that for all of this fights but uh oh absolutely yeah uh, but anyway, it, I, it's, that really is interesting. I was not expecting that to show up in 14 in specific. Like, I genuinely felt like that would be anathema to the game's overall design. This one's going to be done before we get there, I think. Yeah, it's already at 53%. Yeah, so that's okay. Uh, but yeah, it's... Right. But I mean, it also didn't look like it was having an alert for every single mechanic. So, like, mm. the only time that popped up was when Tritok was circling around outside of the arena. And, like, first time through, there's no real obvious indication of what it was doing. So having that pop up sort of, like, tell you what the heck to, to look out for was helpful. And then, like, later, uh, the two later attacks that they showed off in the presentation, there was no such big old giant, like, screen-filling instruction. So, uh, you know... So that was that was kind of nice. I, so it it seems to be selective in what it instructs people to do. So mm. it, it, once again, like almost with everything else in Final Fantasy XIV, they seem to try to like strike as much of a balance as they possibly can to hit as many people as they can without swinging the pendulum so far one way or the other. Because ah yeah, nobody gonna be happy all the time. So they're just gonna make as many folks as they can happy and you know, do their best. Alright, I think the word and I have is nobody's no effect and I like that saying and yeah, it's all about trial and error going through each one to find mm -hmm. what has been a good and what has been a bad thing I mean uh, Stormblood had whatchamacallit that raid with you have to do maths yeah exactly and that, that never came back again, I don't think so. That you know. never came back again, no. <laughs> or like the near raids. Anyway. <laughs> that yeah, was an that... interestingly weird story, but. The, uh. I actually, Elliot and I were talking about, like, encounter difficulty in general. Like, and, you know, they're. They're just trying, and, you know, that's kind yeah. of what. What you said, and I agree with it. They're they're trying to find the right balancing point every single time, but they don't like ever like ignore stuff that they did previously. Either, which is no. not something that can be said of all MMORPGs, to be sure. But uh, yeah. I mean, different mechanics. That's perfectly fine. The one thing in which I will say, since Heavensward onwards, the one thing that they have calculated perfectly is the story. Oh, obviously. The story I is would say to be on approach. Yeah, for sure. Definitely, like, Heavensward, Stormblood, not bad, but once we hit Shadowbringer, that's when it was like, whoop, and they just cranked that dial up, and the story has been absolutely fantastic, and yeah, there was definitely development and such that I really enjoyed and I can't wait to go into this new story I yes. don't know with what's going on but oh I can't wait it's gonna be good um, another thing that has my very very deep interest um, is the uh, Arcadian the, uh, the Alliance raid that's coming up I believe or the the, the upcoming raid um, now, is that the one that is Final Fantasy XI? No, no, no. That's that's the uh, GPU uh, Fight Club slash Fight Pit thing. Um, oh. So when uh, when we were watching the live letter, Elliot especially because you know he was he 
was doing, he was watching in order to uh, put together the write-up that he uh, created for hmm. the live letter. But um, go check his work out. <laughs> uh, but the, but the thing that he sort of like pointed out that was shown off or somebody translated, like a friend of his translated or something like that, is like at one point the stage or the series of rays themselves were called uh, lightweight division or lightweight belt so basically mm. like there is a there's a there's a potential that we're going to be in a, in a professional wrestling match um, the the boss okay. had some lines there was like some some spoken dialogue over the course of the fight so like like genuinely i it feels like we're going to be in like some final fantasy 14 WWE and I am 100% for this. <laughs> Arcadian is going to have an announcer. Oh. Yeah. I cannot wait for this, dude. Genuinely. I truly... Can the announcer be Hildebrand? Can that just be the announcement that Hildebrand is going to be the announcer and then Pan to me being the voice of Hildebrand. <laughs> I want I if ever given the opportunity to voice act in a game and stuff, that is definitely top of my list. I would want to bring Hildebrand to life with a voice. I would love to voice this Hildebrand Mandeville. That would be pretty incredible. Not you hear that, lie. Square Enix? I love you. The Square Enix is not watching this channel, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. You never know. What if I was to shake the bag of Funyuns I have? Will that work? I don't know that that anybody <laughs> on the team are fun fans of Funyuns, but they could be wrong. <gasps> I'll give you a bag. I'll give you three quarters of a bag of Funyuns to put me in the game. <laughs> I have well, I one girl buy it. Can they hold audition? Oh, no. Anything like that, I think it's like... Exclusive. A lot of, like, s agencies and everything like that. And heck, even if they brought back a competition to do a Realm redub or anything like that, again, I would so be over that. I would just get back into that and submit an entry back into doing another Hildebrand. I would. I so would. Okay, you want to... Say again? You were breaking apart very badly, Ollie. What was that? Oh, I wonder if my battery... Can you hear me okay now? So far. Anyway, uh, what was that? Yeah. What was that? Okay. I was going to say, the reason why I wanted to play it is because I watched video that you guys dubbed over for Hildebrand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this is so fun. <laughs> yes. But yeah, no, oh, the, the, the Realm the Redub the contest Redub. was fun. That was fun to do. I mean, shame we didn't win, but at the same time, I was just happy to be a part of that and just have so much fun and to be able to just... Some of the people's reactions the to what we did was really awesome, too. So, like, you know, I, was like, I, I was pleased. Oh, yeah. It was fun. It was just a good time. I like with like within the Final Fantasy or community, they have all been quite nice. There's only like a few people that I've met that were kind of meh. Yeah, well, not Jim met, but <laughs> Mez being very kind, but no, I, I get what you mean. The, the uh, by and large player base of this game is pretty top tier. Oh, wonder. How many players know? To hear Play. them say it, like, 50 million, 30 million? It's, it's, it's a lot. Yeah. It's, it's a big, it's a big game. It's one hmm. of the top five MMORPGs for a very good reason. Absolutely. So, you know, but, um... But, yeah, I'm, I'm just really excited for what the Arcadian... Not necessarily yeah. just because of the WWE or pro wrestling thing, which I'm still a big fan of. I really, really am. But also, like, 
this is another one of those completely original stories that like hmm. I'm just very interested in seeing what this is about absolutely yeah and I kind of like the word I wouldn't say the word about you brought it up quite nicely there this is an original story and I'm quite a big fan of that more than basically being like, oh yeah, we're just going to take the story of like Final Fantasy VII, VI or whatever and sure, sure. repeat that. I mean, they take the inspiration from the Final Fantasy games. I mean, uh, the Gold Bears, I think it was. That's well, Final Fantasy oh, V. Gold, Be Gold Bears, and that's Final Fantasy or slash two, but um, but, like the Golbez story beats were still pretty similar to the original game, but they also hmm. did manage to like work it into like the overall game lore. Yeah. So you know it wasn't like necessarily shoehorned in, but then again, I also appreciate that like some people are just not interested in that either. I I hmm. personally, Final Fantasy Four is my very first MMOR, uh, my first JRPG. So, like, I... it was my first Final Fantasy game. So, like, I was like, yes, give me that fan service. No, 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 no. But, like, not everybody is like that. <laughs> exactly. Also, congratulations, Ollie, for reaching Love Lady on your Red Mage. Hey! Congrats. Heck yeah. So, that's definitely worthy to grab you. I forgot. Is there a level 80 Red Mage attack? I've forgotten. Eh. Definitely go check. We can check for sure. On, we yeah, we can check after. We'll check in just a few. No worries. Because I know there's the relic uh, gear, red mage from shadow, and then there's Ooh. the Yulmo. I, I, I forgot. It's it's been a while. Oh, we'll get you. We'll get you kitted up. No worries. Ah. Uh, Tosa said no they use crossover bosses sometimes, but haven't all the eight main raids been original stories? The eight main or the eight man raids. Um, I mean, in general, yes, they have been, but like um, we're talking about like completely original, like no referential things to other games or other parts of the series whatsoever. That's that's kind of what I mean in terms of originality. Hmm. The stories oh, most I... certainly have been. Like they've they've taken pieces of or threads from the from the from their inspiration, but like they haven't like felt necessarily forced in or anything like that. Yeah. I think the only three that comes top of my head for original story for raids uh, is the three main trials that were for base and walker to be honest that's where i feel like the original story where they were original content you know i may be wrong i'm trying to think and i don't know but uh I don't want to say the three trials out loud, just in case there may be people in here who still haven't gone that far yet. Right. Or they still may want to get to it, but... Yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, in any event, hmm. I'm just looking forward to... Because, like, all we have to go by with what the Arcadian is is that very brief moment that they showed off in the uh, in the live stream and that's concept art of what looks like a GPU. That's literally all we've got to go on right now. <laughs> oh, the GPU, yep. So like... Alienware. Immediately, yeah. Yeah, yeah RTX on. Uh, but <laughs> the uh, it has me very, very curious, for sure. And like the fact that it could possibly be a pro wrestling sort of style, or at the very least, like an actual like 
new tech gladiatorial games thing. Like, even if it's, like, vaguely Tron-ish, that would be fun, too. But... I don't know. I, I'm very, very intrigued. That and seeing some of the gameplay where you see the enemy with that nice level 100 icon next to their name. It's like... Indeed. Triple digits. I'm like, ah! Oh. There is something lovely about seeing a triple digit level above your character's head. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't necessarily super super care about that myself. But like, I will admit, a triple digit level number above this character's head is gonna be pretty neat. Especially since level 99 is always as high as any Final Fantasy game has ever got. So. And now, uh, basically kicking down doors and seeing that 99 just go to triple digits and just like. Exactly. That is so delicious, I cannot wait. Especially considering, like, I also had to kind of, like, think about the fact that, like, the, the levels that I've earned in Final Fantasy XI were always split because you, you know, you dual class. So I was, like, a... I was a... Uh, Paladin warrior was my character so you know oh, did 11 have uh sorry if i'm ignorant no, no, to this no, no, no. did they have multi-class for that yeah no they have multi-class you, you have absolutely multi-class 100 oh, you wow. have like, dual class anyway so like after a that certain oh. level threshold you were able to like pick up a second class and it would be at level one so oh. you'd so you'd have to like kind of like level that up a bit or earn some more levels that would raise them both up. I forget it's been literally years I you know, don't remember, if I'm very honest. But um but yes, you could do a class. Like nice. the primary job was like what your you know primary function was and then there was like the secondary job like provided some a few latent benefits and a couple of little different abilities. But they, but, but they did have like some like, there was some interplay and there was certainly some like uh, optimal combinations, for sure. Huh. Uh, but yeah, it was. Not yeah, it was a. Uh, pa warrior or paladin warrior was was my main cla co class combination, and that was after. I was disappointed by the Dark Knight. <laughs> oh. I'm also because, like, the Dark Knight job... The Dark Knight job in 11 was... Like, like okay. getting the Dark Knight job was challenging. Okay, so, like... So I kind of felt like I need to provide some context. Um, yes. In order to... Like, the Dark Knight uses a scythe as its main weapon. So right. that's like its primary weapon. You never got the scythe until you unlocked the Dark Knight job quest. And in order to learn how to use weapons effectively, which in this case would mean like you would actually hit enemies, let alone doing damage to them. Like you wouldn't constantly miss. So like when you pick up a sword, you have to like use the weapon a bunch of times in order to level up the ability to use a sword and that in turn unlocks like weapon techniques and you know things like that mm -hmm. um and the great s and the scythe was never a weapon that dropped in the game or could be purchased ahead of time so you couldn't learn the scythe before that now to Ooh. unlock the dark knight quest or the dark knight job completely you would be handed a scythe weapon a specific scythe weapon by the NPC and told. Oh, yeah. Go. I'm sorry, go on. I know, I, I start and it click to me now. It's like, I remember you told me this long, long ago yeah. when I was first getting into it. But yeah, carry on, please. Yeah, you needed. You were told to kill uh, roughly 100 enemies with this weapon. And by the time you're doing this, like, you by, like are like level 30, I think. 20, something like that. You, in any event, 
you've gotten a lot of levels in one very specific weapon. And I've never touched this weapon, this this sight in your entire life. Ouch, I'm in pain. <laughs> uh, but, so like, killing 100 enemies sounds like a dawdle, except for the fact that you're using a weapon that you're constantly missing with for a very, very, very long time. Oh my goodness. And there wasn't like a counter or anything. There wasn't like a quest tracker. And I don't think 100 was like an exact number. Sometimes it would be, if I remember correctly, sometimes it would be higher, sometimes it'd be lower. And the oh. only way you would know if you were close or not is you go back to the Dark Knight trainer NPC and he would inspect your weapon and tell you whether it's been blood soaked enough or not basically. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's nasty. Like... Uh, Final Fantasy XI came out when not everybody knew how to make MMORPGs again. Like, like you know, they were, a lot of people were still figuring this out. So, Rare Enix themselves. So, you know. Old school, baby. I have cut my teeth. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, EverQuest 1 and 2 still work that way with the weapon and magic skills. Probably some of the last ones, too, yeah. So. It's amazing. Yeah, we've come very far. <laughs> we have eight. Oh my goodness. I think my very first talking about MMOs and stuff, proper MMOs. I don't know if this is considered proper MMO, but it would be RuneScape for me. Oh, it's well, RuneScape 100% is a proper MMORPG, absolutely. Mm. It's an Elder Scrolls to another genre. Yeah, that was definitely then my first 100% first ever MMO. But... What was yours? 14. 14, oh, yeah. See? Oh, wow. No yeah, but 11 was my very first one, so it's the... Uh, my very, very, very first MMORPG that I ever played was EverQuest 1, but that was like playing a new character on my then-girlfriend's account for like maybe a couple of hours. Um, but I was still completely astonished. Then my second one was EverQuest Online Adventures on the PS2. But my main and technically real first MMORPG that I played for, for a very long time was, was Final Fantasy XI on the PS2. Wow. And I've forgotten as well, the PS2 had online capabilities like that. Yeah, we did. Oh my goodness. We tried to play Ultima Online many times, training skills takes so many times, missing most of them. Yep. That was literally the, that was the struggle in unlocking the, the Dark Knight job. By comparison, unlocking the Paladin job required a quest, and that was still pretty challenging too, but it wasn't like a, it wasn't nearly as harsh or annoying, certainly, as the Dark Knight job unlocked. So, oh. I didn't want to be a Paladin warrior, but that is what it is. I, I went with what I got went with, and it was fine. Now my brain's just clicked in with something previously on 14 in which we can say respectfully towards Ollie that he's got it lucky because when we were grinding to get to our levels on a Realm Reborn and such, we had to do like multiple classes just to get them to meet so if we wanted to be a black mage you would have to do oh that's right level yeah. level 30 thermaturge and level 15 archer that's right i forgot oh. about that it's been a very yeah, yeah they they did away with that uh with uh they did away with that pretty recent pretty early uh, but oh yeah but at i would launch, say before heaven yeah or at, or at heaven's word but um uh, yeah, did you add... want to continue with this? Oh, sorry. No, no, that's fine. Uh, what was your question? I'm sorry. I was asked, did you want to continue with the skirmish, or did you want to pick up... Yeah, let's do one last skirmish and, and uh, head back after that. 
Right, I also had to break up too, so we might as well just get this one. Get the stick and spell. But yeah, you were saying about uh, 14, what we had previously in which nowadays new sprouts would not have to go through and grind. Oh yeah, that was that was hard. And that was actually a carryover from both 11 and the original Final Fantasy 14, the 1.0, before, oh before it went yeah. around the board. Oh. Those are both carryovers. Like, honestly, Final Fantasy 14, when it very, very first returned, was really, really, really wanting to be Final Fantasy 11 again in a lot of ways. Like, the only way you could level up like, you didn't have, like, the theme park MMORPG quest line. There was, like, some quests, but after a certain point, they would literally dry up, and the only way you could gain levels is to burn leave quests. Mm. That was literally the only way you could level up, because you would only oh, get your next goodness. main story quest at certain level milestones. Alright, let's head back to, uh, let's head back to base. I'm gonna hit return. Hey. Alright. Head but, you back to bases. But yeah, it was um, it was not good. <laughs> it was really not oh, good. Oh, <laughs> it was very, very awful. As there was that, there was the original relic quest for a Realm Reborn. Belts. Well, belts or whatever, it's fine. Uh, the, yeah, the original relic quests were challenging purely because the lag point in 14 was even worse than it is now. This is actually an improvement. The mm. Realm Reborn lag point was legitimately miserable. Like, we had a good friend. I remember the uh, the FC that I was a part of at the time we were doing that because my character was was looking to get a Paladin, right? Uh, it was Paladin was my, my chosen first class. Um... And like we had the one of our members from the FCs lives in Australia. So like our ping was bad that their ping was significantly worse to the point where like they were so oh. frustrated with it. And and it was a lot of like fighting Titan too. Okay. So so all the bombs going off and the knockbacks, like oh, as God. challenging as it is now, it was 20 times worse with the original lag point. Like, there's a reason why the landslides is such a meme or such a joke among the 14 community. Because back then, the landslides were very, very, very serious, awful business. Even more awful than they were are now. Hmm. <laughs> Toast is saying that one of his retainers is holding an old belt of theirs. <laughs> I love yeah, it. Good God. <laughs> but oh. yes, no, but, but it was... But, it was so frustrating that that player literally reached with the whole game. Like they were just so oh. apoplectic and for honestly, good reason. I get it. I understand. Um, so yes, the, this area. the lag point was even worse than it is now, if you can believe it. Mm. Wow. So I'm so very, very glad that players like Ollie do not have to suffer that awfulness anymore. <laughs> It's oh y yes yes. I am the fortunate one. <laughs> you one hundred percent are the fortunate. You are yeah. <laughs> honk honk. But, but uh, uh it's, yeah. it's, it's but it it was uh it was something else. <laughs> so yeah, I forgot what the point was. <laughs> Uh, talking about <laughs> Sprouts today have it lucky and easy so they can get all this stuff easily. Oh, my controller's dead. That's why I targeted Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ole. <laughs> there we go. But, uh, yeah. Sprouts today have it easy. <laughs> Sprouts today have it better. Not easy. Better. Oh, yeah. better. There's a difference will... between easy and difference between better, and this is better. No, no. Let's let's not oh, yeah. twist. I... Oh no, I'm not. Yeah, <laughs> you had the word in wrong there. So I... shush. No, I know what you meant. So you you intended better, but you said easy. I get it. I understand. You intended. My back hurts. <laughs> you meant to say things are easier or more improved. That's that's the point. That's the point you're making. No. Let's see if this guy can give you your. Magical range to pay us. I love watching YouTube videos about Final Fantasy 14 1.0. Interesting ideas, but 
very old school, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it, mm. it, um, like I said, it was trying to be 11 2.0, and it was not very good at it. <laughs> and and World of Warcraft, like it or not, like it's the zeitgeist for a reason. It, it it's a it is a big total a ma- major shift in MMORPG design, for better or worse, in a lot of different ways. But um, yeah, 14 was better. Because it was taken the helm by somebody who loves MMORPGs and wanted to make oh. an MMORPG. And oh, oh yes, look at this lad. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, uh, is that the right oh. hat? Oh, uh, it, unless, unless it's in your head slot, it's in your inventory. You may have filled up your head slot in your armory chest. Oh, so you, you have may too have many to hats sell. in your armory chest. <laughs> <laughs> so you may have to discard or sell one of your old hats. And does Ollie have maximum hatage? <laughs> he has a haberdashery of hats. <laughs> yeah, you have to get rid of one hat from your armory chest and equip the new hat through. Your inventory. Uh, oh, you could do that too. Actually, no, that is a better hat. Yeah. Wow. All right. Little bean looks awesome. That is fabu. <laughs> Love it. That's the only up. thing we'll have to work on is getting. Well, you've got majority level eighty stuff. I think it's just the bracelets and. The necklace, that's going to be tuned up. But yeah, buddy, that is... Very that's swish. bang on. Love that it. is very bang on. Look at it! Bang on! <laughs> and the hat does sell as well. Just look at that hat. It's got a... It's <laughs> the fancy lad dance, too. Yes. Yes. Perfect. All right. I don't know that we can end on a better view of visions than that, to be very honest with you. <laughs> that is magical. That is very magical. Oh, gosh. Thank you so, so, so very much to Britannia, to Ollie, and to Welsh Fox, all three of you, for joining me for another stream once again. I, totally loving it. I look forward to this every single time. And next week is the last one before Dawn Trail, y'all! <laughs> what are we going to do? Oh, we'll figure it out. But anyway, that is going to be it for today's stream. Thank you so very much to everybody for tuning in. We have lots more streams coming through the rest of the week, like usual. On Monday, June 17th at 8 p.m. Eastern, MJ is live with another Elder Scrolls online stream. Tuesday, June 18th Ooh. at 8 p.m. Eastern, MJ is back with another, her usual Guild Wars Tuesday broadcast. And then on ah. Wednesday, June the 19th at 2 p.m. Eastern, I will be playing the Early Access Sandbox PAX Day. And I will be giving away access keys to that game. So if you Man. are interested in picking that up, then be sure to tune in for that and just to hang out, oh. honestly. If you, if you feel like getting the game for free, then great. If not, just hang out, tune in. We'd love to have you one way or the other. And as always, thank you so very much for hanging out today. And thank you for all of the support you provide to Massively Overpowered. Whether you are watching our streams live or on demand, reading what we have to write on the website, or if you're one of the incredibly generous folks who donate bits to the channel, subscribe to the channel, whitelist the ads of the site, or if you're one of our amazing Patreon supporters, no matter what you do, top to bottom, you're the field that keeps massively OP going. We will see you tomorrow. Until then, have a great rest of your day. Bye! Bye! Bye.